Our inconceivable lead is way out of this world, 390 light years away. Truth be told, for setting one light year is indistinguishable from six trillion miles. In humankind's determined journey for loosening up the insider secrets of the universe, we've set out on a mission that goes beyond time itself, searching for answers to age-old requests woven into the surface of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, has as of late recognized a short glance at a structure starting before the presentation of stars. This superb thing radiated an impression of being more ancient than the genuine universe, raising a greater number of questions than it answers. How might a plan exist that starts before our universe? Or is the hypothesis of how things became to blame? Join us as we set out on an odyssey directed by the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion-year-old development await. The journey to loosen up these enormous mysteries has just barely begun. In a distant corner of the universe, around 200 light-years away, an old star called HD 114283 lives close to the Libra constellation. This eminent wayfarer moves enthusiastically through space, offering intriguing brief looks into its violent past. Precisely 12 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its early stages, it ingested a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. But what truly piques our cosmic interest in H214283 isn't just its fast cycle. It's its astounding age. Among the celestial objects we've noticed, it remains one of the oldest, earning the enchanting moniker Methuselah Star, compared to the scriptural figure Methuselah, who, legend has it, lived for 969 years. Originally estimated to be a shocking 16 billion years old, the latest estimates propose a somewhat younger time of 14.46 billion years, with a margin for error of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, as calculated from the cosmic microwave background, floats around 13.8 billion years. This issue raised huge questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Figuring out the age of celestial objects can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance. Like the sun, they're like immortal lights, maintaining their radiance, temperature, and size for billions of years, making them fascinating to age date. Astronomers use changes in brightness and color as clues, matching these with models predicting how stars evolve over time. One age giveaway is the speed at which a star spins. Like a wheel, stars slow down over time. By comparing the rotational speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers have worked out a clever trick called gyrochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic chatter, flares, and emissions of energy on their surfaces. These energetic signals give space experts being the space detectives they are, a way to eavesdrop on stellar conversations. With advanced techniques like astroseismology, they listen for vibrations caused by waves traveling through a star's interior. These vibrations can reveal a star's age. For instance, applying this method to the sun, space specialists determined its age to be 4.58 billion years ago. Now, back to Methuselah star. The old transmission around it isn't just inconsistent. Astronomers classified it with an old age by examining its cosmic origin. Stars can be classified into groups based on how much bling or heavy elements like iron they have. Our sun is a metalhead, belonging to population one stars. Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an ancient relic from population two with fewer heavy elements. It's the celestial wink out that helps cosmologists play cosmic archaeologists unraveling the age stories of these heavenly creatures. Now, imagine a group of stars, theoretical population three, which astronomers suspect might be the universe's most ancient gems. Though they're still hiding in the background and haven't yet appeared in our telescope spotlight, space experts suspect these stars might be the legends of creation, containing almost no heavy elements. To grasp the cosmic plan, we need to rewind to the universe's early days right after the Big Bang. Picture an endless kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, the universe's main ingredients. Around 92% hydrogen and 8% helium, or if you average it, about 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. In this cosmic ensemble, the first actors on stage were the population three stars. They were massive and hot, 
burning through their fuel rapidly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early astronomical monsters exploded, they spread these heavy elements into the vast span. Next in line were the population two stars, forming a late but still significant chapter in humanity's early days. Their original materials were loaded down with heavy elements, particularly iron. Many of them went through their stellar life cycles, blasting into supernovae and adding more heavy elements to the universal blend. Finally, the population one stars, including our sun, emerged as cosmic newbies, forming from advanced gas clouds mixing with remnants from the earlier population two stars. Now, the central question, does the vast story throw an infinite curve at the theory of the ancient Big Bang? It's a head-scratcher, but here's the twist. There's a 70% chance that Methuselah star, the ancient celestial stray, could be in the vicinity 13.66 billion years old, aligning with the age of the universe. There's also a 30% chance that this ancient star's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Furthermore, there's a 15% chance it's not as ancient but significantly younger. Imagine rolling a standard six-sided die and expecting a particular result. Regardless of what these cosmic bends throw at us, one thing is sure. Methuselah star isn't just a colossal veteran. It's the granddaddy of stars. We figured out how to give it an age label that's darn precise. Now, here's where it gets awesome. Instead of scratching our heads about where Methuselah star could be two or three billion years older than its cosmic neighbors, let's flip the galactic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? We've been trying to get a handle on the vastness of space, and if we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most incredible New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the cosmic hammer until the last seconds of December 31st human written history. That's just a blip in time, covering only the last 10 seconds. Our astronomical examiners determine the universe's age by looking at old starlight, born a couple hundred million years after the Big Bang. As the universe expands, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. By doing the math on both distance and expansion, specialists declared a general time of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the Big Bang situation is about to get interesting. A study from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rinder Gupta picks up on an intriguing theory from 1929, made by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory suggests that as light particles, photons, travel through the vastness of space over time, they lose some of their energy. Though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've observed through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic trade-off. He suggests we can blend this theory with our current understanding of a growing universe, creating a hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now buckle up. Changing the universe's age to an unbelievable 26.7 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds another twist to the cosmic mix by combining the light loss theory with evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Durr. This idea suggests that the way particles interact may have changed over time. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was only a simple 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our astronomical math and increasing the universe's age, like taking a giant leap into our vast understanding. However, whether this new perspective becomes the galactic norm is still up in the stars. Whether human history is a simple blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand design of the universe, one thing's certain. The universe is a motherload of ancient miracles and endless inspiration. Looking to our vast backyard, the Milky Way, there's a stunning, enormous tango happening in the universe. Recent estimates hint that stars on the edges of our universe are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their partners in other galaxies. What's the astronomical scoop? Well, there are a few hypotheses, and one theory is that our Milky Way might be running low on an invisible, massive ingredient called dark matter. This elusive substance influences the gravitational dance of grand objects. There's a celestial mystery involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see but seems to play a gravitational back and forth in the universe. One possibility that's shaking our vast understanding is that perhaps we've been estimating dark matter wrong. Our universal compass might be pointing off course. 
Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the cosmic spotlight. It's like our astronomical examiner providing complex insights into the dance of nearly 2 billion stars in our Milky Way. Consider it a cosmic development test. The satellite's precise measurements have led astronomers to rethink their cosmic notes. Stars at the outer edges of our Milky Way seem to be moving slower, challenging our old assumptions about their speeds. How do star speeds spill the cosmic beans about a galaxy's mass? It's like checking the size of a party by how quickly people are moving. Equipped with Gaia's data, space specialists estimated the total mass of our galaxy's gas, dust, stars, and that elusive dark matter to be around 200 billion times the mass of our sun. It sounds like a cosmic heavyweight, but here's the twist. It's several times less than we previously thought. One theory to settle this astronomical puzzle suggests we may have been a bit too bulky with our dark matter estimates. Maybe there's less dark matter out there than we once suspected. However, hold on. Measuring a galaxy is like trying the impossible. The data could have a few quirks, or our cosmic measuring tape might need some adjustments. Still, other research teams have joined the cosmic examination, and they all seem to be humming the same universal tune. If this extraordinary revelation holds, it's like opening a new chapter in our cosmic physics course. A twist that might make us rethink not only our own Milky Way, but every shiny corner of the universe. As Stacy McCarr, a space expert at Case Western Reserve University, puts it, this could be a cosmic game changer. Going back to the 1970s, when astronomer Vera Rubin and her large team set out on a celestial mission, their goal was to study how stars moved in different galaxies. The cosmic playbook suggested that stars on the edges of a galaxy should be slow movers compared to the zippy stars closer to the center, like how Neptune takes its time orbiting the sun while Mercury is the eternal speedster. But what Rubin and her team discovered was a cosmic shock. Stars at the far reaches of galaxies were moving at nearly the same speed as those closer to the galactic dance floor. Imagine a giant disco where everyone, no matter where they are, is dancing to the same beat. This huge discovery implied the existence of something puzzling and invisible, dark matter. The unseen heavyweight champion that forms vast halos around galaxies. Think about early space experts like Copernicus and Kepler. We've learned so much since then, but we're still the rookies, wide-eyed at the galactic marvels, trying to unravel the universe's secrets. Our Earth is like a tiny island in the vast ocean of space, spinning around the sun, surrounded by countless stars in our small system. Our quest for meaning among the stars is at the heart of scientific investigation. Even when answers surprise us, this curiosity keeps us traveling further into the universe. It's a never-ending journey, where each response brings new questions, ensuring our amazing examination never stops. The universe continues to astonish us with its vastness and complexity. Each discovery takes us deeper into the intricate tapestry of cosmic history, unveiling the fundamental rules that govern our reality. Ongoing research has shown that galaxies aren't isolated entities, but are interconnected through a complex web of dark matter and gravitational forces. This understanding leads us to reconsider our models of galaxy formation and evolution. One of the most fascinating aspects of astronomical research is the concept of gravitational waves, Ripples in spacetime caused by some of the most extreme events known to humanity, like merging black holes or neutron stars. First detected in 2015, these waves offer a new way of observing the universe, providing insights that traditional telescopes might miss. They open a window into phenomena that are invisible to electromagnetic radiation, allowing astronomers to study events from the early universe and improve our understanding of the fundamental forces at play. Additionally, Researchers are also investigating exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system. The discovery of potentially habitable worlds raises significant questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth. Techniques like transit photometry and radial velocity measurements help identify these distant planets, revealing other planetary systems that challenge our assumptions of how solar systems should form. Some of these exoplanets lie in their star's habitable zone where conditions may be perfect for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. As we probe deeper into the universe, the role of artificial intelligence in analyzing vast amounts of data becomes increasingly significant. 
AI algorithms can detect patterns and anomalies in celestial light curves, leading to the discovery of new celestial bodies and phenomena at a speed previously unimaginable. This collaboration between human intuition and AI propels us into an era of unprecedented astronomical discovery.